Hi, my name is Trevor Daniker from the Rhode Island Community Food Bank here in Providence, Rhode Island. I teach a class called Community Cooking to our member agencies around Rhode Island. They include pantries, shelters, and soup kitchens. In the last year, we taught over 115 classes to over 3,600 clients. Our clients range from young kids to older adults, and in these classes they learn nutrition, food safety, and eating healthy on a budget. During these food safety portions of the class, we use our Fight Back poster. So we teach the clients the proper way to wash their hands, produce, and surfaces. We teach them how to calibrate a thermometer, take temperatures of meats, how to thaw meats properly. We also teach them how to use two different cutting boards to prevent cross-contamination. And we teach them how to properly store items in the refrigerator. Serve safe classes. Before and after our eight-week class, we have clients do a pre-test and a post-test to see how well they retain their knowledge. In our last four eight-week classes, we had clients fill out a pre-test and a post-test, and the post-test average on the food safety portions, 92%, and on the pre-test, they average 63%, so 28% increase. Different internal temperatures, the prop, the how to properly heat food, um, and how everything is different. Like poultry is 165, but ground meat is 155, but ground turkey is still 165 because it's poultry. Definitely the hand washing, where like there was uh, lotion that we had to put on our hands and then go see if we knew how to properly wash our hands and if you did that, like at the end of washing your hands a black light was on your hand and if you didn't wash your hands properly everyone knew. <laughs> Definitely eye-opening. I mean people can get sick. Things have to be done properly and things have to be clean and your produce has to be washed because you don't know where it's coming from, who's touched it, like where it's been, like you have to wash things before you ingest them and you have to cook things properly before you ingest them or you will get sick, like people get sick, people die, you can't, you have to be safe. I am grateful to work for such a great organization such as the Rhode Island Community Food Bank to be able to go around the state teaching low-income families the importance of nutrition, food safety, and how to eat on a budget.